Giving sex trafficked youth their childhood back. That is the work that The Covering House does. Missouri is actually the eighth in the nation for sex trafficking. And The Covering House has the only trauma-informed therapeutic program of its kind for young people in the state. This next segment has been sponsored by EXP Realty. And joining me now are Pam Stanfield, The Covering House board president, alongside of Laura Baker, community engagement manager. Ladies, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you Absolutely. for having us. Um, and this is such an important topic. So Pam, tell me a little bit about The Covering House and what you guys have done here in our community? Um, the Covering House is one of a kind, and we provide healing and restoration for girls under the age of 18 who've been sex trafficked or exploited. Um, we are really the only one in the area. There are a lot of agencies that are there to help adults, mm -hmm. but uh, we provide support for those kids under the age of 18. Right now, only girls. Eventually, we're hoping you know, for boys. Um, awesome. We have community-based program, and we also have a residential program. So for those girls who have a safe place to live, they come to our, our um, services that we provide in the community. And for residential, unfortunately, those girls don't have a safe place to live. And they come to us either through law enforcement, we've even worked with FBI and Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. And um, those girls stay with us anywhere from 12 to 14 months. And they go through a pretty, um, involved therapeutic program but we also are so focused on we want it to be home yeah we want it to be fun yeah. um yeah. a place where these kids can just be kids yes but still reserve receive the services they need specific to their trauma and laura i mean that's really what you guys focus oh, on yeah. it's about reimbursing their childhood how yeah. are you guys doing that I remember we had one girl who was, um, I think, going to turn 16, and she wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese for a birthday party. Wow. Uh, that's not usually what 16-year-old <laughs> girls want, but by golly, we went to Chuck E. Cheese, and we all had a really good time. Wow. Um, it, we really do try to make sure that, you know, they're experiencing things that so many of our families take for granted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going to the zoo, going to a concert, going to a ball game. And it's important that they realize they're important and um, that we want them to feel that. They, they sit around a table, a family dinner, and for many of them, they've never done that before. Yeah. Um, I remember Just giving one of, them those opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We even threw a quinceanera for our first international wow. kid that we had. She was unable to experience that because she was being trafficked on her 15th birthday. So yeah. we threw her a quinceanera last year, the whole nine yards. She got a handmade dress and everything. <laughs> it was really a special time. You all are just giving me chills uh, just to think. Well, and just this child, when she first came to us, she sat with a hoodie. She wouldn't make eye contact. And you're thinking, oh, Bless your heart, what have you lived? And at this quinceanera, she's singing, she's, she's dancing, yeah. she's missed sociability. Yeah. It's just, wow, look yeah. at the transformation. Yeah, That really just speaks to the program mm -hmm. that you all offer, and it's a great program. Y'all yeah. are actually expanding. Yes. yes. Tell us a little bit more yes. about that. Well, as you said, with Missouri now ranking eighth in the nation for sex trafficking, our services are in high demand. We receive anywhere from four to seven qualified referrals each week and our beds are full. Mm -hmm. We have five beds right now in our residential and we are full and still getting re referrals. So our expansion, we're gonna be able to triple the number of beds we have, um, potentially opening our do doors to boys someday. So we're really excited about all of that, looking ahead um, for 2023, 2024, mm -hmm. big changes to come with a new campus expansion. Well, that is incredible. And if people are at home and they're watching to really help out the Covering House, make this happen, make their visions come to fruition, you all have the Dine for Dignity Gala. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about that. This is our fifth one. <laughs> We're so excited. This year's theme is under the big top. It's a million dreams. Oh. We're inviting you and everyone to share a million dreams for these kids our dreams for them, their own dreams, the community's dreams for them, um, our dream as we see this expansion come to fruition. And we really count on this fundraiser to bring in a lot of funds. It's the largest fundraiser that we do. And all of the proceeds will go to support all the programming that Pam has talked about today. 
Well, this is awesome. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. And St. Louis, if you want to dream a million dreams, you absolutely can. It is that Dine for Dignity Gala. Go ahead and mark your calendars. It's happening Saturday, April 1st, 2023, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It feels weird saying 2023. I know, but we're, <laughs> we're so ready. We're we so are ready. ready. And we, again, just want to help their dreams come true for all of the survivors that they're helping out. Again, it's happening at the Chase Park Plaza. You can learn more information online at dinefordignity.org. Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.